everyone, Chef Haley here from The Holistic Trick, and we are in the kitchen today cooking up some delicious local produce that we sourced from the Coastal Food Shed's uh, delivery system off of the What's Good app. And today we're going to be making an Asian-inspired dish, and it's going to be a Thai ground pork, and we're going to plate it in some Napa boats. So we have just a few of these ready to go. And we're going to put our warm pork right inside of there. And then we're going to top it with a fresh herb salad and some ground peanuts. So to get started on this dish, you're going to need a medium bowl and a pound of ground pork. Our pork today is sourced from Cluck and Trowel. Um, they're out of Little Compton, Rhode Island, which is where I live. And they're our friends. And they also sell on the Coastal Food Shed app. So you can totally get their pork, their chicken, their eggs right on the app. It's super delicious, organic, um, non-GMO, non-soy, all of that good stuff that you want. So we're going to season this already delicious pork with a few aromatics. Um, we're going to start with two cloves of garlic. To uh, get the skins off of the garlic, we're just going to take our knife, flat edge, and we're just going to press down. And you'll find it really easy to just take the skins right off of there. We're going to finely mince the garlic. So I just like to take my knife, I hold it like this. And I just make some slices in my garlic. You're going to have really big slices. So what you want to do is just kind of go through it with your knife and continue to chop. So the finer that you mince anything, including garlic, um, the more flavor you're going to get out of that item. We're also going to need one shallot. This is a pretty big shallot, but I'm into it, so I'm going to use the whole thing. We're going to chop off the ends. We're going to cut it in half. And then we're going to take the skin off of that guy as well. What we're going to do, we're going to cut this the same way we cut an onion. If you don't know how to do that, I'm going to show you. So we're going to make slits right into the shallot, but we want to leave this whole end completely intact. So we're going to make about maybe a quarter inch slits in the shallot one way, making sure to leave this bottom part intact. Then you could just dice this up and you'd get a pretty large dice. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it the opposite way from where you where you didn't cut it. You want to cut where you've already cut. And you want to go right in very carefully to the center. And then you're going to be left with this situation here. Okay. And again, this whole bottom part is still intact. Take it from the cut end, and you're just going to dice. Kind of hold the sides in, because sometimes they like to come apart. And then what you're going to be left with is like this big piece of that very end that you didn't cut into. And I just like to take that and just put it on its side and mince it up with everything else. You can go through and just kind of give it another rough little mince if you want to. A little chop. Alright, so we have our whole shallot chopped. Now we're going to take a whole jalapeno, depending on your spice level. If you're a little bit of a wuss and you don't like spice, use about a half. You can also use a serrano pepper. You can use any pepper that you want. So to cut one of these, a lot of people will just start like going to town. I like to cut the sides off of my peppers. Just cut the side, and that's going to leave you with just the green fruit of the pepper and kind of leave the seeds still intact. You're going to be left with four sides of your pepper. And then what I like to do is cut long strips. And once you have all your long strips, you can turn them, line them up, and you just chop away. So we have all our aromatics in here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to add them to our bowl of pork. And we're going to give it a nice mix to evenly distribute all of these delicious flavors. And then we're going to take our organic kamatsuna and we're going to slice it up and put it on standby. So we're not going to add this with the pork until the very end because we don't want this to overcook and this stuff cooks very fast. Now we're going to make our sauce that we're going to add at the very end. So there's some lime. You want about eh, maybe two to three tablespoons of juice. And then to that, we're going to add some fish sauce. And this is a very umami flavor. It's very Thai. Um, fish sauce on its own 
I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty nasty stuff. <laughs> but it also is super delicious when in combination with other things, sweetness, acidity, which is what we're doing in this sauce. So we're also going to add about a teaspoon of some sort of hot sauce. And you can totally omit this if you're not into spiciness. And then we are using some of our friend Emily's Fieldstone Kombucha. This is the golden hour flavor and it's notes of turmeric and ginger and black pepper. Um, you also can drink it after. You only need two tablespoons so definitely enjoy. Give that a little stir to distribute all of the delicious flavors in there. We have our ground pork mixture here. We have our sauce ready to go at the very end and we have our kamatsuna over here. We are going to heat a skillet. You can use a cast iron pan. I'm just using a non-stick skillet today. You're going to heat it over a medium high heat and you want your pan to be just about smoking. You want it to be pretty hot. You're going to add about a tablespoon of some oil. You can use peanut oil, which I'm using today. You can feel free to use olive oil, avocado oil, um, every anything except for extra virgin olive oil because that has a really high smoke point and we're cooking on high heat. Gave our oil a little bit of time to heat up and now we're going to add our pork and you want to hear a sizzle. So it's been about five minutes and this pork is cooked very nicely. So I am going to add the sauce and we're still on a medium high heat at this point. We're just getting the very ends of this brown and we're going to add this um, fish sauce mixture and you're going to hear a little bit of a sizzle again of course. I'm going to turn off the heat. As you can see, it's still sizzling and bubbling away, and we're going to add the kamatsuna now. This stuff cooks up very quickly. It's very tender. You can eat it raw and just get it a little bit wilted, but so it still kind of has some body and holds its crunch. It's been about a minute, and this has wilted right down, so our heat is off, and I'm just going to take it completely off the heat. And now we're going to work on our herb salad over here. And we're gonna chop up some peanuts and get ready for plating. So now we're going to take all of our fresh herbs. We have some fresh basil, some mint, and some cilantro. So we have all our herbs in a little bowl and we're just gonna give them a nice little mix to distribute all of them. The mint, the cilantro, and the basil. And this is just flavor bomb deliciousness right in this bowl. Napa cabbage, just take off one of the big, you could always plate it like this, but this is a huge Napa cabbage. So I've just been cutting them right in half. You have a tender piece, you have a more crunchy piece. It's your preference um, or eat both. I love both for different reasons. Lastly, if you didn't buy chopped peanuts, um, usually you can't, you're going to chop them. And you're just going to run through them with your knife. Don't go too crazy because they then they just kind of shoot everywhere. To plate these, we're just going to get a plate. We're going to put a couple of these Napa boats right down on your plate. We're going to take some of the pork and kamatsuna mixture. It's still hot. Just put it right in the center of your boat. And then we're going to add our herb mixture, a little bit right on top for some freshness. And also some chopped peanuts. And you can also serve these with a couple lime wedges for a little bit of extra acidity. And that's all there is to it. A really low carb, refreshing, delicious Asian inspired lunch super easy you just need a few tools and a few ingredients and a little bit of intuition confidence and creativity and i'm going to give this a try because i'm very hungry and i'm late to lunch as usual give this recipe a try at home and if you want more information go to coastal food shed or you can go to my website holistictrick.com and thank you for watching and happy cooking